Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2019 Coleman Lantern 337BH. This is a big bunkhouse model. You have dual opposing slides here in the living space, which not only really opens it up, but also allows for a center island here in the kitchen. And you have three bunks back in the bunk room. Let's take a look at the kitchen though, starting off on this big center island. This is something that is generally highly sought after because it gives you a lot of additional prep space as well as a ton of storage underneath. It houses the double bowl sink here with the high rise faucet. You'll also see you have electrical outlets on both sides. So if you need to plug anything in, you have the capability to do that. A bank of four drawers running all the way down the side here and plenty of storage right in the center including enough room for a trash can right down below. On the other side here in the kitchen slide out features the Norcold fridge freezer combo here. Obviously freezer up top, fridge right down below. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Then you have good prep space right here as well. So not only do you have the uh, the island right there but you have all of this extra space plus they give you an electrical outlet usb port there too if you need to plug in some cell phones and charge them or something but i love that you kind of have a spot right there to like plug in a, a coffee maker whatever else it may be window there for natural light led light for light at night over to the side is the three burner cooktop here now this one does have a glass cover it kind of folds up and back as a backsplash but you can have this down so you can utilize this as prep space as well You'll see right here, you can turn that on, all your knobs light up, which is kind of cool. Or you can turn it off, whatever you like. And then right underneath there, you will see you have an oven in case you want to do some baking. Underneath that, right there, look at that. Big storage space underneath there. Perfect for all of your pots and pans. Or you can set them right in here. You see you have big storage there as well. So definitely no shortage of storage here in the kitchen. You'll see two more large full extension drawers here. And then underneath the fridge, you see some more there. So as you can see right down below here on this side, just a ton of awesome storage. Little bit right up top there, not too shabby. Have a light here, help brighten the kitchen space up. Microwave right over here. You'll also see your uh, hood with both a light and a fan there. And then across the way, you have this big space as well. So if you don't want your coffee maker over there, maybe this is a great spot for it. You can kind of set up like a little coffee bar or something here. You got the electrical outlet there. Or if you want to set up, you know, a bar bar, you can certainly do that as well. Or just put decorations there. Great storage up top there, as you can see, as well as some additional storage right down below here. Making our way over, we'll actually uh, take a look right here in the bunk room and then we'll come back out into the main living area. But as we take a step back, notice how you have an actual door here. So that way it kind of gives you some separation, a little bit of privacy. You know, if the kids need to go to bed, you want to stay up and hang out, you can shut the door and you're able to do that. Or, you know, if you have really little ones, this makes a great space for them to take a nap. You can shut the door and again, have that separation. We take a look right over to this side here. The top bunk does fold up and out of the way. 150 pound weight capacity on there. So this one's really basically built for kiddos or you know, if you're a, a smaller adult, you might be able to sleep on there, but you can fold you can fold that one up and out of the way, lock it in place. So that way you have access to the dinette right down here and people aren't hitting their heads. But this is a big dinette for being in a, a bunk room. You can uh, actually sit four people there, which is great. So if all the kids want to sit here and, you know, play a game together or, you know, if they want to eat back here, if the other uh, dinette is all full up, you can certainly do that too. A little bit of uh, uh, storage space uh, right underneath here. You have the little rack or the little shelf right up top with an electrical outlet there too. And then, of course, your window right here in the back. Now over on the other side, this one has a 300 pound weight capacity. So if you do need adults to sleep back here, this will probably be the bed to do it. You have a built-in ladder, so whoever's sleeping up there can climb up there nice and easily. You also have storage behind it. They didn't waste any space, as well as storage kind of all the way throughout. You see three drawers here. The top or the bottom two are a little bit deeper than the top one. And then right over here, we'll open this up. You have a big hanging rod going all the way across, just something that oftentimes is lacking in a bunk room. So I love the storage space. Also, if you want a TV, this is where you would put the TV. The connections for it are right up top here. And then uh, for up top, there is a dual USB port. So if a doll is sleeping up there, whether it's a kid or whoever, need to charge electronic devices, you have the capability to do that. When we step back out, we move into the main living area. Take a look at this U-shaped dinette, folks. This is a very large U-shaped dinette. 
plenty of room here. You can easily sit four people around here, probably even five. Uh, also, you have a big tabletop as well, which is something you don't oftentimes get. So you have plenty of room for a lot of plates on here. And if you drop this down into a bed, you can comfortably sleep two adults here. One of the things I love about the Coleman Lantern is the height of the slide boxes. As I mentioned earlier, I'm six foot, and as you can see, I can just sneak underneath these slide boxes. Uh, a lot of times that's not the case. Most of the time they're a couple inches shorter, and if you're not paying attention, you'll hit your head on it, which obviously no one wants. So I definitely like the, uh, the taller slide heights here. And then you'll see the jackknife style sofa. So the cool thing about this is it kind of has these removable armrests here, makes it a little bit more comfortable to sit here. Obviously you can take those out if you decide to drop this down into a bed. When we lift this up, you can see all the storage right underneath there, nice and easy to get to. And as I mentioned, uh, this does lay flat. Probably not big enough for an adult unless they really curl up, but it is perfect for a smaller child. Now, whether you're sitting on the dinette or the sofa, if you wanna watch TV, you have a pretty good viewing angle thanks to the way that they laid this out. Uh, also, you have a DVD player right here, so if you wanna watch a movie, you have the capability to do that. Your main control panel is located here, including your tank monitoring panel. And then you have a little bit of storage there underneath, as well as over here to the side. Now, cool thing about this is you will see that there are coat hooks in there, so that way as soon as you walk in, you can hang up your jacket, sweatshirt, whatever else you have there. A little bit of storage right up top here, too. One of the things you'll notice right away is how spacious this bathroom is. You actually have quite a bit of room in here, which again is pretty uncommon in most bunkhouse layout floor plans. Right down here is the toilet. When I take a seat, you can see I have plenty of shoulder room, great leg space here too, so no issues whatsoever there. Right over next to me is the neo-angle shower. You can see how much space you have in here as well. As I mentioned, I'm six foot, I have plenty of room, so even if you're 6'2", you can probably still stand in here without having to hunker down. You have the curtain obviously to close off, hand wand makes showering up a little bit easier. You'll also see right up here you have some, whoops, some additional storage there. So that's a great spot for extra toilet paper, black tank chemicals, things like that. Robe hook right outside, mirrored medicine cabinet that does have storage behind it. You'll see your electrical outlet, decent sized countertop here so you do have some space on both sides of the sink and it's a nice big bowl so you have plenty of room to wash your hands there. And then underneath you see some additional storage. And then as we make our way into the bedroom, you see the queen bed right here in the center. There is storage underneath, so if you have some larger items you wanna put under there, by all means you can. You'll see right here you have the grill. The grill does come with it. On both sides of the bed, you'll see that you have the nightstand there. You have electrical outlet as well as dual USB ports, and you have some drawers there as well. Right up top, you will see your uh, mirrored wardrobe. So you have the hanging rod going across, shelf connecting the two right in the center. And if you want TV in the bedroom, there's a, a spot to mount it right here. They put a backer in the wall. You'll also see your appropriate connections right up top. You have a slider door for some added privacy. So you, instead of a curtain, you can actually close that off. And then right up top here is your vent. This is pre-wired for a second AC. So if you want one in here, that's where it would go. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Coleman Lantern 337BH. Right up front here is a power tongue jack. This makes it easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Simply flip the switch to raise and lower the tongue. You also have a light right up front for added visibility at night. Right behind here, just in case the uh, power tongue jack does fail in the rare event that it does, you also have a manual override so that way you're not stuck out at the campsite. Two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover sit right behind the power tongue jack and yet further behind that are rails for your battery. Coming up the front here is a diamond etch plating which helps protect the front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And then yet up above that you see that sticker there which shows this one has a three year structural warranty which is currently the best in the industry. Solar prep right here on the side. So if you want solar, simply buy portable panels, plug it in right there and it will trickle charge your battery. Now we take a look at the pass through, it is magnetic, so it stays up nice and easy. And when we look inside, you will see that this is a big pass through. You have the same size door on the other side there as well. So any items that you put in here, you can get out on the other side, but I like the fact that it is a large opening. So if you have some of those larger items, chances are you'll be able to fit them in here. If you plan on going somewhere, you don't have city water hookup, you'll certainly wanna fill your fresh water tank and that is where you will do it. Right here is your power awning, touch a button to roll it out, same thing to have it go right back in and you have an LED light strip on there so you have light at night. You'll also see two outside speakers, those are connected to that multimedia center inside 
but that unit is Bluetooth capable. So if you're sitting right outside here, you're able to somewhat control it with your smart device. Right here, electrical outlet. Right next door is your black tank flush. Uh, great thing about the black tank flush is after you dump your tank, you just simply hook a hose up right here. Sprayers are built in that black tank and they'll wash out the majority of what is left behind, which is great. This is something that's pretty rare and that's to have your outside shower on the door side. Most of the time it's on the off door side or sometimes in the back, but I love when they're able to put it right here on the door side. It's a lot more convenient, easier to get to. This does have both hot and cold water access as well as the hand wand. So, you know, if you got the kiddos coming back from the beach, you can wash their feet off before they go inside or need to wash the dog. Whatever it may be, it's just a convenient uh, spot to be able to get to it. Right here is your entrance, three foldable steps as well as a grab handle to assist you in entering or exiting the RV. So we make our way around to the back side here. Open this up. If you take a look right underneath, you will see a propane quick connect down there. So that way, if you do have your own grill, uh, as again, this one, this one comes with one, of course, but if you have your own, you want to hook up, you can do that. Or there's an arm right back here, I'll show you in a little bit, that folds out and around. And the grill that we saw underneath the bed does go on that. And again, you can hook that up into that propane quick connect. But enough about that, let's take a look at the outside kitchen here. Two drawers, perfect uh, space for all of your plastiware. You know, if you use real flatware, by all means, you can put that out here too. You have some decent prep space right up here, which is great, electrical outlet. Again, a sink out here, which is awesome. Plenty of storage all the way throughout. A lot more than a lot of times you get. You have a light up here. And of course, my favorite part, the big refrigerators. This gives you a lot of space for condiments or any extra beverages you wanna put out here. Just makes it easy to get to. So as we do come around to the backside, as I promised, right here is that grill mount. So again, this does swing out and around. So that way you can uh, grill out, you know, kind of whoop, just like so. And then that is connected to your bumper right here, which has the end cap. So if you want to pop the end cap off the other side, it gives you a convenient spot in which you can store your sewer hose. If you have city water at your campsite, this will be your city water inlet right there so you know where to fill it up at. Right over here is your cable inlet. If you take a look at the top center, you'll see this one does have backup camera prep. This is a pretty big travel trailer, folks. If you want a backup camera, it may not be a bad idea. Having the prep does make it a lot easier to have it installed, meaning it'll save you money on labor. And then right over here, this of course is your 50 amp detachable power cord. As I mentioned, this one is prepped for the second AC, so it does come with the 50 amp service. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Coleman Lantern 337BH. If you're interested in this big bunkhouse and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's go camping.